I would like to introduce you to NXP's LED controllers for blinking, dimming, and color mixing applications. An LED controller is used to offload the CPU from blinking and dimming operations so that the CPU may perform other tasks. The LED controller may be programmed with the blink rate and or dim pattern of each individual output. LED controllers are used in applications requiring status indicators where LED needs to be turned on or off or blink at a certain rate to indicate a particular status. They may also be used as dimmers in keyboard or LCD backlighting applications or for controlling brightness. NXP has a large selection of LED controllers with different numbers of outputs in varying PWM bit width, various output drive currents, and voltage tolerance, and the devices come in a wide range of package options. The NXP LED controller portfolio span from two outputs to 24 outputs and include LED blinkers, LED dimmers, and color mixing dimmers, which can drive up to 100 milliamps per output, and the outputs are 40 volts tolerant. Constant current LED controllers are used in applications that require precise color and LED brightness, hence constant current output with varying supply voltage. Such applications include keypads and LCD backlights, LED metrics, and color mixing for decorative lighting. NXP constant current LED controllers portfolio include the one output PCA9901 and the 8 output PCA9922. In addition, NXP has several constant current LED controllers in development and will be available shortly. The PCA9633 is a fast mode plus I2C bus controller, 4-bit LED driver optimized for red, green, blue, amber color mixing applications. Each LED output has its own 8-bit resolution fixed frequency individual PWM controller that operates at 97 kilohertz with a duty cycle that is adjustable from 0% to 99.6% to allow the LED to be set to a specific brightness value. A fifth 8-bit resolution group PWM controller has both a fixed frequency of 190 hertz and an adjustable frequency from 24 hertz to once every 10.73 seconds, with a duty cycle that is adjustable from 0% to 99.6% that is used to either dim or blink all the LEDs with the same value. The brightness of the LED output light is altered by changing the pulse width of the LED driver output. To perform color mixing, the LED output frequency must be greater than 80 Hz. Also, the brightness of each primary color is controlled by the duty cycle of that primary color LED output. If the desired brightness is 100%, then the output is on all the time. If the desired brightness is 25%, then the output is turned on only for one quarter of the time and turned off for the remaining three quarters of the time. The result is that the human eye will see the sum of the primary color's average brightness. An LED controller may be used to drive three primary color LEDs, and the controller can change the brightness of each of the individual primary colors so that their sum total of the individual primary color percentages will result in a wide range of colors. Dimming and blinking may be achieved by continuously switching the LED on and off. The difference between dimming and blinking is dependent on the frequency at which the LED is being switched on and off. For dimming, the LED must be switched on and off at a frequency faster than the human eye can detect. For blinking, the LED must be switched on and off at a frequency slower than the human eye can detect. The 256-step group brightness PWM controller allows general dimming for all four LED output drivers using a 190 Hz PWM signal. The signal can go from fully off 
to maximum brightness, which is the default setting. Alternatively, the 256-step PWM controller may be reconfigured to switch with frequency programmable from 24 Hz to 10.73 seconds and duty cycle from 0% to 99.6%. With this setting, blinking is achieved in the application. For more information on NXP LED controllers, please visit the NXP website.